Joining us now is Steve Forbes, Forbes Media Editor in Chief. Now, I, don't, I, I think you heard what Paul Ryan had to say just moments ago. Yes. I see this as a positive for the market, for the economy, for the Trump legislative agenda. They're still going to talk about Obamacare. What do you say? Well, I think he's finally doing what should have been done in the weeks before, and that is talking to various members of the caucus, uh, talking to the, starting with the Freedom Caucus. You start with the ones you know you have a problem Come with. Come on, Steve. Then, then, then work the, through. The Freedom Caucus was not left out of the discussions. It, they were talked to. They held an hour and a half meeting with the president himself, one-on-one. -on -one. You read the reports of that meeting? No, this should have been done months ago. He knew in November he had a problem. Now they realize they got to get together and hammer this thing out. And Remember, they came out with this thing. They went into hiding in Capitol Hill. That's when Rand Paul did his stunt of saying, let us in and hammered out this bill and then said in effect take it or leave it then they realized they're gonna to have to make some changes so it was halting they should have done that from the beginning well, and, yeah. and, and now, mm -hmm. now they realize they made a mistake okay how do you correct it the Freedom Caucus and the others realized they better get something through the Freedom Caucus should have noticed that they made a mistake they've landed us with Obamacare for heaven's sake every everyone made a mistake <laughs> but it starts you know in business you're not critical of the Freedom Caucus are you are you, are I'm, you I'm, on their side I'm on their side in the sense of principle, but I'm not on their side in what they did on this health care bill. There's plenty of blame to go around, but it starts with leadership. You knew you had a problem. How were you going to deal with it? And uh, now I think they're finally dealing with something they should have done three or four months ago. And I see and, that, and therefore, as a positive back, for yeah, tax cuts. Abso absolutely. Because it, they, it, it they, gets you... back to what that we talked about a few weeks ago. Samuel Johnson, the prospect of a hanging, this case, a political hanging, focuses the minds wonderfully. They realize they're going to the political gallows. They better get something done or they're going to hang. I think the market is saying this is a positive. We're now up 65, 67 points. We're going up. I think this is viewed as a positive, the idea that they might do something still on Obamacare. Yeah, it's, it's the morning after, sobering up. We, gotta, we, we better get, uh, get this thing together. And now we're it's up 70 thing. points. It, it's a very good thing. Absolutely, it's a very good thing. Do you think we're going to get tax reform? Uh, yes, and what they must do, though, is if they have to do it in the late summer or early fall, make it retroactive to January 1st. Because while they talk about all these wonderful executive orders, great stuff, Obamacare, there's still going to be a lot of dissatisfaction. They got to do something where everyone sees on their next paycheck. By golly, this presidency is working. I keep looking over my shoulder. I'm looking at the Dow Industrials gaining ground. Yeah. Now we're up over 70 points. I can't help but think that what Paul Ryan just said, what yes. you've just said, that this is a positive. We're sobering up the morning after and looking at things more positively. You go back to Obamacare and you bring in the Freedom Caucus and you bring all the Republicans together and you've got a shot at fixing Obamacare and doing a tax cut, yes. and that's what the market's reacting to. Absolutely. That's my yeah. opinion. No. One of the lessons I hope they learned from this uh, debacle that they had last week, drop this crazy border tax. You don't need to divide your base again. It's hard enough to get these cats and in, in, in hurting <laughs> these cats. Bringing that 20% national sales tax, that'll kill the tax bill, as their mistakes right. almost did uh, repealing Obamacare. Just get a tax cut now. Can we just do that? Now, there's one other thing, Steve. Got to talk to you about Which this. Which means a cut, not an increase. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> President Trump is expected to sign a big executive order today, which would eliminate some Obama-era climate change regulations, including the, uh, the, the rules uh, governing CO2 emissions. I see that as a wildly positive thing because he can do it with the stroke of a pen. He doesn't need Republican agreement or Democrat agreement. That's right. And one of the things that sent the stock market up, especially small companies, was precisely the fact that their regulatory burden was going to be eased on those who could afford at least. They weren't going to have to wake up each morning and worry about getting pounded on the head from another idiot regulation from Washington. Pounded on the head by another idiot regulation from Washington. That will live forever on videotape. That is very good. Okay, Dow's up 75 points now. One more for you, Steve. Ford Motor Company announcing significant investments in three more Michigan plants. And President Trump's going to take the credit. <laughs> what do you say? Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> and, and if he follows through in terms of deregulation drive, of, uh, seriously amending or getting rid of these mileage standards which have uh, you know been a disaster killing people junky cars you get rid of that that'll get more investment in this country save lives great thing